Hey friends! <laughs> Welcome to Men of Medan. I don't know exactly the correct pronunciation because I was thinking about this earlier. Uh, the dialect of American English where I live, it's Man of Medan. <laughs> and I know that's not right. It's Man of Medan. <laughs> It's like that borderline where I live, borderline Philadelphia and Pennsylvania Dutch accent. I was trying to think, I wanted to say hoofty, but I don't think a lot of people really know what a hoofty is. Uh, Man of Medan, we're gonna start this shit. Oh, licensing, yeah. I, I definitely read this. They know there's a skip to end option. They know! Oh, I, um, I've wanted to play this. What? I've wanted to play this for so long, and I've just been in the dumbest funk. It never happened. I got layers of fear 2 done, so now it's time for Medan. So, I'm not reading this. Adjust the slider until the left image is invisible and the middle image is barely visible. And the right image is clearly visible. I don't even see... Okay, there is a left. Okay. So, we need that. Yes. Uh, congratulations, you now have a friend's pass. The pass allows you and a friend one complete playthrough of shared story mode without your friend needing to own the full version of the game. Your friend will need to download the trial version of Man of Medan and accept your invitation before you are able to play the game together. Once you use this pass, it will be consumed and no longer available. So, I am going to try that one day. I'm going to see if I can grab a friend and do that one day, maybe on a live stream. But for now, we're going to play alone. Oh, I fucked up so bad in, uh, in, uh, oh shit. What the fuck was that game called? <laughs> Until dawn. I fucked up so bad, so we, we gotta be on it this time. We gotta be on this shit. And I don't know what's going on, I'm looking at myself, and my eyeshadow looks green, and it looks like I'm dead, but it's not green, it's like orange. Maybe it's because of the blue, the blue is, I don't know, it's, it's the dark atmosphere and something fucking up with orange. I don't know, and you might, there's a, a sick cat behind me, so you might hear some phantom sneezing. And I don't think it'll show, but there might be some wisps of vapor because I, I do have a humidifier running. I am running a humidifier for my cat and I know how crazy that sounds but he has a what we believe to be an upper respiratory infection and he is not yet on medicine because he can't get in until Monday. I don't know why I'm telling you this but that's the situation. I'm so excited. It's super sad right now but I'm, I'm super excited. Is this World War II? Two? Maybe? I think that ship's too advanced for World War I. I could be wrong. I'm not a ship expert. I could very well be wrong. I don't know how involved in China we were during World War I either. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. Let's mosey on. Whoa. Ho oh, oh. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little bit. Oh my god, you gross son of a bitch. Can I fight? Hey. I never put subtitles on, but we'll do that later. Why? Gonna find out Give me a quarter. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? 
Um. Will I be rich? Because I feel like so, uh, that is something uh, you know, some uh, young American glamour. soldier would ask. Bamboo, because I, I believe bamboo is some kind of sign of wealth or money. I don't remember. Look at the tile, tell me what you see. Is it gonna be Hitler? Oh, it's a tuna. It's a tuna. Your fortune may come from any direction, like a mysterious wind. But when a wind like this may blow, death and doom are sure to follow. He's gonna die. Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? Oh. Oh, okay, so yes, I asked the right question in per pertinence to this character. I make him look so, like, done with the world. Ugh. While we're here. Hey, bud. While it's interrupted already. Let's put on. Subtitles. Yeah. There we go. Let me get it go at it. Now you guys oh, yeah? can read along in case I accidentally stuff? make the game too quiet. Fine. Sure. Let me another quarter. Gonna start a tab. Yeah. I'll give it a whirl. Oh. This is adorable. I want to hug it. Oh, this is a little, this is a little clunky. Does it punch back eventually? Oh, it does! Nice! What's that supposed to mean? I can fight just fine! Oh shit! <laughs> I thought it was gonna be another duck. Oh, I don't like it anymore. I'm, I'm ready to move on now. When does this end? I get it! I get it! I know how to fight now. I'm gonna have to fight something. I know how to do it. What do I win? Yeah. Is this how I Looks get like rich? I'm the karate master now. Your face is annoying. His face is annoying. Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Come on, man. Just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. I paid 25 cents to fight a robot, and I didn't even win anything. Home in two! Cargo hold two! Is that the cursed Egyptian gold? And then the mummy is gonna come? And then we're gonna meet Brendan Fraser? I'd be all for that. Let's go. I'm ready to play and I'm just, I don't mean to be frustrated by all the cutscenes. I'm just, I'm super ready to play this game. My face is itchy. It's the cursed Egyptian gold! The Book of the Dead is in there. Hey man! Hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? Oh, they're drunk now. 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man! Hey! Buzz off, buddy! Nobody pushes me around! Oh! That's what you get for... 
being drunk in the military? Medical opinion. These men appear to be drunk off their rear ends. Get this one to the medical board. Throw the other in the brig. And keep this. <laughs> Disruptive drunks. At least we made it to the ship. I don't I am hoping we're on the right ship. It's definitely not oh, it's leaking. It is very wet in there. It's the goo. It's Slimer. Acidic Slimer? What is it? I want to know what it is. Is it going to bring the dead back to life? There's going to be four zombies on this ship. And it's going to be that weird Titanic Call of Duty zombie level. Hello? June 22nd. You woke up hungover on my birthday. Usually I wake up hungover the day after my birthday. This is glowing. Ominously. Oh. What the hell? Hello. You look like you've been dead a while. Like a couple days, maybe. All the capillaries are all fucked up. Why would they lock sick bay? I can't actually, there's nothing I need to do with him. But uh, yeah, yeah, he looks a little dead, like very dead. It's my boy. I don't know. Two pops, come back soon. What is your name, boy? Because you're going to be, like, detrimental to this. Why would you lock sick bay? What's the point in that? I'm going to die? He's sweating. Can I go this way? Oh my god. I know this was in Until Dawn, but it's like... Resident Evil camera angles. What is that called? Like tank tank Howdy, angles? Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. Tank controls? There? I, I got and there in the fun. end. Me too. And there was a a corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. I'm really glad I have oh, I have a friend. Let me go in your room. I gotta see if there's any hidden shit. Yeah! What is this? Why would you have this? In that private Charles Dan- Oh, oh, shh! I let go. I let go. Fuck you. You tell me how to press buttons. In that private Charles Anderson on leave from duty did display intoxication in a manner that not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army, which I feel like is a lie, unless it's just the Navy. Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument, and is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl. Steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to the ship. Watch us not even be their ship. Like, there's no way. There's no way. But... I don't have a combo. Are 
Arthur Miller, private, petty thefts one day break small items belonging to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to owner Wednesday David Davis, private, trespass two days, brig found off limits in cargo hold 3A with no reason to be there, flagrant disregard for orders, Friday, uh, I don't know what PFC Sorry. I'm trying to figure it out, but I, I it's not happening. Lewis Brand, public intoxication, one day brig, found, drunk and acting inappropriately, so that was, uh, oh no. Three U.S. Army personnel were on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication, one day brig, found, drunk and acting inappropriately for U.S. Army personnel while on short leave. So one of those is me. One of those is me. I'm sure they've said it, and I just don't remember. Joe. I am Joe. I am Joe. Joe is me. Okay, we, we can go. I don't have I don't have the combo for this. And if we find it, we'll come back. Hello. Let's go, friend. Oh, that is a bad angle. Hello. Hello everybody. Let me give you a kiss. Oh, I'm gonna fuck this up. We're fine. Holy shit! I really like that. I like that a lot better than the remain still because my hands are always shaking. We can't go down that one hallway what the hell? that he came from. What was that? That was your child! Is he hallucinating? Is that like weird hallucination gas? I wanna go over there. And I also want to go over here. Because this is where the child went. Fuck. It's locked. Do you have anything I can use to open this door? Do you... Is there a reason why you're standing in front of this locker? Sir. I need your help! This is going to be a jump scare. Hey! Charlie! Help! Help me, Charlie. I was. I was pressing X repeatedly. Fuck no. Yeah, you said it. Fubar and then some. Okay, we're good. <laughs> we survived our first jump scare. Which, I mean, technically, I think the corpse in Sickbay was supposed to be our first jump scare, but it didn't really do it for me. That one got me a tiny, teensy bit. And just looking at all this gas wafting on the floor. God damn. Another stiff? Oh, damn it. Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. They got oh, you, Buckley. Fuck. They got you. Oh, I want to go this way. Can't. I have to go. Why are we going down? Won't we be evacuating? Going up? Maybe we have to go down to go up? I want to get through this intro before we uh 
we end it, but I don't know. The intros aren't usually that long. So, uh, is it just me, or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Uh, yeah, we keep finding dead bodies. <laughs> you see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? He is sweating an awful lot. It could be the alcohol. Can I look in trucks? No. Look at that guy just sprawled out. Look at him. Charlie, get over here. That guy's body is ready. Oh shit, hide. Oh my god. Joe, you gonna die? <clears throat> He is crazy, you can see it. That is not alcohol. Like, unless he pickled his liver the night before. I don't like that, I have to have a gun now. Hello, child. That that not a child, but he's laughing. Oh God, no, Charlie! What? Charlie was with me. It's the gas. It's a uh, scarecrow all over again. Scarecrow's psychotic fart gas. I'm not shooting it! No. I'm not shooting it. Hi. I should have shot it. But it was a child! A ghostly child! Would that have have- Would that have had happened, no matter what? It's what I want to know. Whatever those jumble of words I said. Would it have- happened if I would have shot or not. Well, we're Mayday. already dead. Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! Give him the location! <laughs> oh, God. Oh! Cockroach monster. <laughs> it's men in black. No. 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 <laughs> Honestly, this is what we should have did from the beginning. Just killed ourselves on a lifeboat. Wendigo, sea adventure. You got tired of living in Canada. They also have a chilling intro. Holy crap. I really liked the the one for Until Dawn. Was so fantastic. Won't you spare me your Oh, this is so good. This is what I wanted. Oh my god, he's such a badass. That was such a good thing. Like, I didn't expect it. Because in the first one, there weren't no characters. There weren't, weren't no characters in the intro, the opening sequence. But that was so good. I want them to make a game, but it's horror clue. 
Which I guess is kind of what it was, but like I want them- I want it to be Clue, but nobody's the killer. There's actually a monster, like Scooby-Doo style, but not- I don't know. I guess not Scooby-Doo, because they're never real. The monsters are never real. They were inside us the whole time. Get on it, super massive game. It's so good! Gonna get copyright strike for uh, the intro, but that, that's fine. <laughs> I take it. My nose is itchy. I have chills, but it could be that I'm cold. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we're we're gonna pause it. I think this looks like it's it's gearing up to be like a psychiatrist level. Um thank you so much for watching. Man of Medan. I was so pumped. We didn't get a lot of gameplay yet. And uh, I understand that has they have to introduce. Like, it's it's a weird setup game. But I can't wait to play it. Um, we've already potentially made bad decisions. <laughs> uh, let me know in the comments down below what you think of Man of Medan. And very kindly, I would appreciate if you wished for any to get well soon. My poor boy. He's just laying here. Like, just sleeping. <laughs> uh, thank you again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!